It's one of the fastest games in the world. It's also one of the world's most popular spectator sports. In some places, it's a national obsession. It's ice hockey. This is also one of the world's trickiest sports, played on one of nature's most testing surfaces. But this $2 billion a year business would grind to a halt if it wasn't for one machine. The ice resurfacer. Every 20 minutes, play stops and the ice resurfacing machine gets to work, turning the pitted, scarred surface into gleaming, perfectly smooth ice. And as every ice hockey fan will tell you, this legendary but curious machine is known as a Zamboni. And apparently, it's almost as entertaining as the game itself. It reminds you of like the tradition of hockey. It's something that's always there. You always know the Zamboni's gonna come out. As soon as the intermission starts, the Zamboni comes out. You can watch the whole thing go around to do the ice and just not even get bored. I've seen it hundreds of times. I've been coming to games and working at rinks my whole life and always enjoy watching the Zamboni. I find myself watching it, yeah, I do. Even uh, just when there's nothing else going on, I just watch it go back and forth, yeah. The resurfacing machine looks as if it's just sweeping the ice, but it isn't. As it trundles round the rink, it's doing a lot more. So how does it turn ground up ice into a rink so smooth you can see your face in it? Our story begins in Los Angeles, California, home of sun, surf, and snow. Here in LA, we find the factory of Frank J. Zamboni and Company, the largest producers of ice resurfacing machines in the world. The Zamboni Company have been making ice resurfacers by hand for over 50 years, though the technology has come along a bit since the early days. Richard Zamboni, whose father Frank Zamboni invented the machine, is proud to be carrying on a family tradition running the firm which still bears the Italian family name. It's a funny name, a little bit different from anything else, or Smith or Jones or whatnot, but it uh, has really been uh, very nice uh, associated with it, associated with a nice product that uh, is out there, and I think it catches people's attention because there's not a lot of it, other things happening at the same time. It may be attention-grabbing, but what does this ice resurfacing machine actually do? Surprisingly, even the fans don't seem to know. I don't know what it does exactly. It makes it so that the players don't get hurt because they're not tripping on ice shavings, I guess. There are two tools which carry out the job of cutting and removing the ice. First, there's the dangerously sharp blade, which shaves the ice. You wouldn't want to touch it. Just look at what it does to this bagel. Then there's the screw conveyor. This spinning screw sweeps the ice shavings up as the machine is in motion. As the resurfacing machine moves forward, the six and a half foot long razor sharp edge shaves fractions of an inch off the icy surface, kicking up a fine snow. The amount of ice to be cut is determined by the driver who can alter the angle and depth of the blade at the turn of a wheel. The snow falls into the screw conveyor and is then channeled upwards into the machine. The snow is collected in a huge metal bin at the front. But removing the ice is just the first step. The Zamboni then lays a new coat of ice back onto the rink, a fraction of an inch thick, restoring the playing surface to its full one inch depth.
76 tiny jets of water spray the ice surface, filling in any pits or cracks and forming a new layer of fresh ice. As the machine travels, it will leave behind it over 132 gallons of water to create the new layer. That's like spilling seven bathtubs of water onto the ice. The layer is spread evenly with the strip at the back, known as the towel. But with such a slippery surface to operate on, why doesn't the ice resurfacing machine skid out of line? The secret is in the tires. Every tire is fitted with special tungsten carbide studs, which help the wheels cling to the ice. Each tire contains over 100 studs, which are painstakingly punched in by hand. The ice resurfacing machine will cover an average of slightly more than three miles during a typical ice hockey game. And in the course of a year, it'll travel almost 2,200 miles. So these studs have an important job to do. Now that its journey is complete, the resurfacer needs to be emptied. On an average journey, the machine will gather up to 1,500 pounds of snow. That's the equivalent of over 7,000 popsicles. Now that we know how the machine works, what's it like to drive one? Raul Lopez has been resurfacing ice rinks for over 10 years and loves the work at the big arenas. I like the game. I like hockey. I play hockey. So then I like to drive the machine because I know it's, it's like a teamwork thing. And I just like making great ice for the players out there. So if driving an ice resurfacing machine is a privilege and making one so prestigious, it's no wonder ice hockey fans are obsessed by what they call the Zamboni. You can't have hockey without the Zamboni. You can't have intermission definitely without the Zamboni. I've even done a tour of the factory that they make them in. I even bought a sweatshirt that has Snoopy driving the Zamboni. I've even driven a Zamboni a couple times at my local ice rink. I'm crazy about it. Anybody that doesn't like a Zamboni, there's something wrong with them.